Hey everyone, it's your girl Shauna J. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I so appreciate you being here. So today we're gonna to be talking about dupes. I'm gonna be showing you guys some cheaper alternatives to some more expensive fragrances. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's jump right into this video. Okay guys, so the very first fragrance that I'm gonna start out with is a fragrance that I've been obsessing over. Like every single time I go into Ulta, I steal sprays of this fragrance. It is Irresistible Givenchy by Givenchy. Every single time I go into Ulta, I always spray this perfume on. But I think the mistake that I always make is that I will put it on my wrist and then I will end up washing it off. So I would never really get a full feel of the fragrance. But the last time I went into Ulta, I actually sprayed on Irresistible on my jacket. And when I came home, I kept smelling this smell on my jacket. And I was like, I'm not bugging out. I know this smell. I know this smell. It smells exactly. And I'm not going to say exactly. They smell very similar. But I would say that this dupe smells even better than Irresistible Givenchy. This is... Anaïs Anaïs Premier Delice, and this is from the house of Cacherelle. These fragrances smell so similar. So I'm just so glad that I didn't actually buy the Irresistible Givenchy fragrance because I think it's for like $100 or something like that. Meanwhile, this is probably like $20. Very high quality, inexpensive fragrance. Now, they both have that sweet, sugary, pear type scent mixed in with a little bit of florals. So they're not like straight up gourmand fragrances, but they do have that gourmand feel without smelling edible. Now, there are subtle differences with this fragrance. I find this one to be a little bit more sweet and sugary. The Irresistible Givenchy fragrance does have that sweet sugary pear, but I could smell a little bit more freshness to that fragrance. This one, it has a little freshness to it, but it doesn't have as many clean, fresh florals as the Irresistible Givenchy. I actually do prefer the Casual fragrance, so I'm so glad that I was patient and I did my homework. Definitely check this fragrance out if you have been eyeing Irresistible Givenchy by Givenchy, the EDP. The next fragrance that I have on this list is one that I purchased only yesterday after testing it so many times and right now I'm feeling so hurt so hurt that I bought this perfume because according to Zara, once you open up the boxes, you cannot return that fragrance. And now I'm like whipping myself because I'm like, how did I miss this? Like, I know better, okay? Now the fragrance that I'm talking about here is a Tropical Boost. Now, like I said, I tried this fragrance so many times and didn't realize that it was an exact dupe to a fragrance that I already have in my collection. I don't know how I missed it, but I missed it. These are like such dupes. I think that this is an excellent dupe for Perfect by Marc Jacobs. I can't believe I missed this. If you've been looking into Perfect by Marc Jacobs and you want a really good dupe, look into this one. And it's one of those fragrances at Zara that actually does last. So this one is pretty long lasting compared to the other Zara fragrances. So yeah, dupes. So the next fragrance that we're going to talk about is one that I actually spoke about in my last dupes video. Now, the only reason why I want to talk about this fragrance is because I feel as though I really need to redeem myself. And that is because I did speak about a fragrance that I've never experienced. And I wasn't cool with that because I don't want to lead y'all astray. Now, the perfume that I'm talking about here is Amethyst and it's by Lily. You probably already know that this is a dupe to Meliora. Now, I was honest in my last video and I explained to you guys that I've never smelled Meliora, but I heard and I read that it is an exact dupe to Amethyst by Lalique. So what I did was I took myself to Nordstrom the other day and I decided that I was gonna experience that fragrance for myself. So I went over to the Parfum Zamarli counter and I decided that, you know what, I want to see what everybody else is talking about. So of course I sprayed it on myself and for the whole day I was like, oh my God, I have to let y'all know that it's an exact dupe, like no ifs, ands, or buts. I mean, I've heard people say, well, it's not an exact dupe. Oh, they have some differences. I don't even see where, like it feels like we're an amethyst. This is such 
an amazing inexpensive dupe they smell just alike like i said in my last video they do have the same perfumer sometimes perfumers be doing that i don't know how they get away with making the same exact fragrance for two different houses yeah i don't know about you but if i had my own perfume line i wouldn't want you to do another house's fragrance that's kind of weird anyway guys that's conversation for another day i'm just here to tell you that amethyst and parfums de marley's Meliora fragrance is like the exact same fragrance just in a different bottle period the next fragrance that i want to talk to you guys about is narciso rodriguez for her now a lot of you guys already know that sarah jessica parker's lovely fragrance is a dupe for that fragrance and that's what I thought too, but I found one that is even closer to that fragrance, which is Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely Sheer. This, in my opinion, smells way more similar to that fragrance than the original Lovely Fragrance. I mean, it is crazy. It smells just like it. I don't know how I missed that. This is another fragrance that has been sitting in my collection for a while now and for some reason it escaped me i can't believe that it's just such a similar fragrance to that one i don't know if it's the citrusy fruits that we have in this one that makes it so much more similar to the uh narciso rodriguez fragrance but i'm here to tell you this much the sheer version smells way more similar to Narciso Rodriguez's fragrance yeah I mean that's just my opinion if you love a soft floral musky fragrance definitely check this fragrance out but the next fragrance that I have on this list is actually a fragrance mist and this one is called a harvest moon gaze and it's by Victoria's Secret it is known to be a dupe to uh, YSL's leaf fragrance and I must say that I do agree with that I absolutely love this fragrance uh, it's so clean uh, it has like a beautiful lavender note I mean, it sort of smells like there's orange blossom in here, but it really doesn't state that. It just states that it has fresh lavender and sequoia glow, which I'm not really sure what that is. But this smells like a bomb combination of lavender and orange blossom. For sure, a great dupe. If I'm being honest, I do prefer the body mist only because it's a little bit lighter and fresher and just a little bit easier to wear, in my opinion. So if you like Lee by YSL, Definitely check out this fragrance. The next fragrance that I have here is Love Anne, and this one is by Anne Klein. I believe I only paid like, I want to say like 15, between, between 15 and 20 bucks for this fragrance at Berlinson. Now this smells really, really similar to the one by Dolce & Gabbana. They have that slightly sweet warm floral scent so beautiful another excellent dupe for the one by Dolce & Gabbana is Black Amber by Zara that's another good dupe it is really hard to pin down the subtle differences in these fragrances you have to really be paying attention um, I would say that the only difference that I notice in this one is that it just feels a little bit lighter and a little bit more airy and fresh while the one seems a little bit more warm and maybe a little bit more sweet. I think if you're just going about your business and someone smell you while wearing this, they'll just probably assume that you're wearing the one by Dolce & Gabbana. This fragrance could last you up to five hours so it's not super long lasting but it's a, it's a decent fragrance and I really like this one. So yeah, this is Love and by and Klein. I do have another Zara fragrance and this one is called Gardenia, which is crazy to me. I was in Zara so confused because I sprayed a perfume on me and it was giving me sweet, it was giving me coffee, it was giving me vanilla. I mean, it was just so delicious. And I was like, oh my God, what did I spray on? I kept looking at red vanilla. I kept looking at fragrances that would match the scent. But then I noticed that the only one that I wasn't smelling was this fragrance called Gardenia. And I'm like, it can be Gardenia. Whatever I'm smelling, whatever I'm wearing cannot be called Gardenia. 
I have no idea why this fragrance is called Gardenia. It literally makes no sense, okay? The notes in this one are orange blossom, coffee, and vanilla. And yes, this is a dupe to Black Opium by YSL. It even has that darn patchouli note in the base, which I don't like. So I'm kind of regretting this purchase, okay? But that's not gonna stop me from putting you guys on okay because not everybody dislikes patchouli but i honestly cannot stand the patchouli the coffee the vanilla the orange blossom yes on point i love that but the patchouli i could have lived without the patchouli so definitely try this out if you like black opium by ysl so the next fragrance that i'm about to show you is a fragrance mist and this one is called sensual amber and yes i am happy to say that this one is still on bath and body works website so it's still in stock which surprised me a lot because this is very old school okay this is one of the ogs now this fragrance smells very similar to flower bomb now in my opinion, it should be something that everybody knows, but not everybody knows. So if you want to smell like you're wearing a flower bomb without spending the coins, look into Sensual Amber by Bath & Body Works. The next fragrance that I have here is Kim Kardashian, and this is her original fragrance. If you've been into fragrances for many years, you probably already know that this fragrance is a spot-on dupe for Gucci Bloom by Gucci. If you're new into fragrances and you're just now starting out and you're trying to learn some things and you wanna save your coins and you're watching this video and you like Gucci Bloom but you can't afford it and you're looking for a very good dupe, Okay, Kim Kardashian's original fragrance. Very good dupe for that fragrance if you don't wanna spend a lot of coins on Gucci Bloom. I mean, the similarities are crazy. If you want a clean, fresh, white floral scent, something heavy on the tuberose, the gardenia, and the musk, yeah, definitely try this fragrance out. This is Kim Kardashian by Kim Kardashian. I was going to bring you one more fragrance. It was actually a dupe to this fragrance, Alien EDP, but unfortunately, I cannot find it okay so of course we're gonna do more videos like this one i guess i'm gonna add the dupe for this fragrance in another video okay i do apologize for that anyway guys so that brings me to the end of this video i gave y'all so much today please go ahead and like this video if you're new subscribe to the channel i would really appreciate it don't forget to go over to my other channel my beauty and lifestyle channel check out the videos over that side of course don't forget to subscribe anyway guys so i'm out of here bye